All right, so as you all know, they say they won't deport Pastor Toby from the UK. Our community. Now, that's laughable because what has happened since that one million pounds that he put in is that crime just increased. For UEL, uh, my question is for Mr. Adegoya. Uh, last week, you marched for, equal, for the equality of women, but today you're endorsing an industry that is heavily gender disproportionate. Right. How are you looking to grow and promote women's sports in the development of young female athletes? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Plan B TV News, Gist and Blog. Pastor Toby to face deportation over fraud in UK. Now, this is causing another chaos on social media. That's what I said. Welcome back to Plan B TV Gist, not news. <laughs> A lot of people are talking, why will a pastor be deported? Don't deport our daddy you. Why some like VDM is saying deport him? Why will a pastor be doing fraud? How will a pastor involve in fraud in the first place? Well, I'm not here to judge. I want you guys to watch what VDM said and the response of Pastor Toby in none of this. Let's watch. All right, so as you all know, they say they won't deport Pastor Toby from the UK over 1.8 million pounds fraud. Where they're saying they use in church till they do fraud and some other other fraud related. But anyways, I am happy that he wants to be deported because to be very honest, again one case when I won't read out now. Now look at my screen. This thing was sent to me on the 9th of July at exactly 9:45 a.m. So let me quickly read it. It says, "Good morning, very dark man. How are you doing today? My name is Dash. I am a former Dash Dash." I believe you must have heard or come across my story on the internet and national dailies. However, to summarize my story, my estranged wife, Dora, was having extramarital affairs with different men. But worthy of mention is Pastor Toby. They both conspired and she fled with my two luxury cars, G-Wagon and an AMG, documents to all my properties in Lagos, everything I have worked for up until date. My sons were also abducted till now. I have no communication with them. She has been the one on the offensive and all effort, have, all effort to resolve this issue have been proven ab uh, abortive. Despite involving the police and DSS, it's like some powerful people connected to Pastor Toby are hell bent on destroying me. My life has been threatened and I am no longer interested in the marriage. All I want is for her to return my properties and my kids she can do as she pleases so this guy is saying pastor toby the knocking wife and pastor toby manipulates in wife and then conspired she can't steal in g wagon and in amg according to the story and also they don't carry in properties and everything they with the woman and pastor toby i thought pastor toby is supposed to be a pastor but as of now it's just what he said you understand so um, he's saying that there are a lot of powerful people he has reported to DSS, he has reported to the police, but they cannot do anything because Pastor Toby is influential. And you know how corrupt our security agencies are in Nigeria, uh, where some of them, if you don't collect money, they will carry the petition, they go hide them, they will carry the petition, they will throw them. But now where they don't want deport them, that's how they pray, made they deport them. Now where they want deport them, come back, right? So all those people where they day in back, it go easy for the case to start up here. That's number one. Number two, the likes of Daddy Freeze, when they always hail this Pastor Toby, whether they go attending party, they do all those things. Why I won't start with Daddy Freeze? Because the way Daddy Freeze they, they insult other pastors for this country and the way they hail Pastor Toby, does he not know that the guy might be into fraudulent activities using the church name? Does he not know that the guy might be knocking people's wives using the pastor's camouflage? Do you understand? Does he not know all these things? Or they don't buy him, as usual. Because, as you all know, that one now, if person go to collect money, make it a person. You understand? What else would he not do? But anyways, that one no get integrity. But what I'm saying is this. You they criticize other pastors, but your own close friend and ally will be pastor. They say they do fraud. Is that not crazy? Is that not crazy? Well, what's me? I'm not even surprised by the news. First of all, because the way the guy they do carry Rolls Royce, carry this one, carry that one, without any any source of funds and all that. But well, that's his business. My own be say, may you do come back to Nigeria. 
the person will say you and your wife say you're knocking wife why the wife see they married say una tif in wagon and the amg the guy they wait now this online now go take picture of the old matter all the evidence we go drop out so please pastor toby please i pray you'll be deported and you come and face our nigerian tribunal thank you very much and don't play you're gonna learn and you will learn the hard way welcome soon hi go pay me if they know later the post this guy you go pay me tie go pay me Eesh. don't play why would people have to monetize christ and make sure that immediately you become a pastor you must become a billionaire like we make a whole lot of videos and i'll make sure i post that video on sunday if you have not subscribed to this channel ensure you do so so that you wouldn't miss out well in pastor toby case i want you guys to hear from the horses mat he said no cause for alarm i'm right here and he was even playing video game and then joined and said wait the deportation will deportation help and i want you guys to watch the video we'll be right back hi good evening Paul. let me post this um i've read a lot today um and i'm doing this because of the our fans our friends people who are worried i'm right here at home no cause for alarm and I, naturally i'll dismiss things that has to do with retrogression every nigerian should be proud of me been in the uk a city that is well known for pulling people down i've survived all sorts so the matter that they are propagating now is the smallest of matter in Yoruba, they say, Toba Lane in Ibikoi, because you're on Darisi, I'll be Lucy. Yeah. You know, oh, they did leave me. But what I'm trying to say is, no panic. Uh, my love, London City, is my city, and nobody can do anything. Of all the people of color you know here, pastors and leaders have survived everything. Now, let me talk about fraud case, fraud case. They keep saying this. This is an advanced country. I'm speaking here openly, yeah? After all these years, have you ever heard someone goes to the parliament and make all sort of complaints? Someone from another race is another color. Nothing came out of it. So those who hate, hate already. What you want to hear is not what you heard today. What you want to hear is they've arrested him for money, this money, that not one criminal case, not one money case. You should all be proud of me and of the nation family. So I'm here, I'm at home. Nobody should panic for me. I succeeded well in this country despite all challenges. And I'm in the league of the people you look up to, people that they um, pick out to persecute. I've survived that well, we're surviving well. Nothing has changed, nothing will change. I assure all our followers and friends that there will be no embarrassment for you other than noise and noise which we've survived for many years. I am here, I'm PT, number one in London City and nothing is gonna bring us down. I love you all, that's all I've gotta say for now. Thank you. Anyone please, PS5, thank you. All right, this is where we're going to be ending the video. I'll wait for you guys in the comment section where I leave you guys with another gist of Nigerian pastors and how people are so desperate about money. Remember, some pastors are saying that if you don't give, as a person, if you don't give, definitely God will punish you. Why some said in their own belief and according to their level of understanding of Bible, that if you give to the poor, God will make you poor. The only way God can make you rich or stay rich is for you to give to him or give to pastor. There are some people you see in town. They are mad. They are this, they are this, they are this, right? You see somebody walking mad with sauce all over. You can see this sauce, gaping sauce. You can see it, right? In the spirit, go and see what that sauce is. You see some people, you want to help them. You think it's everybody they help. You go to the village, you see somebody everywhere on Timmy 90. On Timmy 90, you want to help her, you go and carry this abroad to the hospital. Do you know what you are trying to do? Do you know what you are trying to do? That 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 walking now, you know the view walk on no? eh? Do you know, do you know, do you know, do you know the kind of com uh, uh, respect she commands in the dark enough? That's a sacrifice, though. But it gives her a whole lot of respect, honor in the dark kingdom. And you want to bring her honor down. 
She will follow you to the hospital. But unbeknown to you, she's going to strike you in the night, eh? Because you are trying to bring her down in the dark kingdom. But in the physical, you think you are helping. Listen, you when you bless a blessed man, you are not helping him. You are creating a platform to rise. Are we together? So imagine that we are giving to the king of all the earth, Jesus. He lifts you to his dimension through your seed. Because Jesus is a man, the man, Jesus, seated at the right hand. Are we together now? Yes. When you are rising in the kingdom, you don't, you don't focus on giving to the poor. Charity is when God has helped you. Hello? Listen, this is the balance. Don't let some of these secular organizations fool you. Many of us keep giving to the poor. Rising is not tied to giving to the poor. He said the poor you will always have with you. When you want to rise, you sow into an anointing higher than you to take you to that level first. It's a big mistake. Some of you are making it now. Are, we, are you getting what I'm saying now? You never give to the poor and rise. No, sir. You sow into an anointing that can bring you into that level of reality. I don't know who lied to you. I don't know who lied. Who told you that, that not having was synonymous with being saved. I'm going to go step out here. I didn't say it before. I might as well say it again. If you are broke, you are in sin. You think sin is sleeping around. God said to tell you sin is barely being able to pay your bills. Poverty is not a sin. No. For Jesus said, the poor you have with you always. You can have all the money in the world. But if you don't have God, that's the true definition of being poor. The prosperity preacher have the wrong understanding of what prosperity is. It is not houses, it's not land, and it's not money. True prosperity is when you have the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of who God is. I don't care how rich you are. I meet rich people all the time and I'm not impressed by none of them. They born of a woman like I am. And they soon will die like anybody else. Solomon says it this way. How do the wise man die? Then he come back and says, as the fool. Nigga, you came in this world, St. Lucia, and nigga, you shall return. That's what we say, Amo. If you give to poor, God, God, God will so punish you to the point, say, you go regret why giving to the poor. But these men of God forgot the verse in the Bible that talks about where Christ said, You saw me naked, you refused to clothe me. You saw me hungry, you refused to feed me. You saw me homeless, you refused to accommodate me. When his disciple ask, when thou seest, nigga, we didn't close you. When thou seest you this, we didn't do that. When thou seest this, we didn't do this. He said, the least you do to these people, these poor people, are the things you do to me. Not the rich, the least. The things you are doing to the poor, are the things that Christ felt you are doing to him. But these ones are saying, don't give to the poor, you give to the rich to ascertain rich. The Bible also makes us to understand that it will take the head of a carman to pass through a needle, which is impossible for a rich man to inherit or enter a kingdom of God. Why did Christ say a lot of this? Because once you are rich, you want to become rich, and richer and to become the richest that is the goal now in nigeria or across all africa or any black pastors now they are so desire to buy a private jet it becomes a challenge just like a yahoo boy now who never buy glk is not a yahoo boy or never buy lesos is not a yahoo boy so that's why these people are so blended that until they buy this car even if they have man 15 million they have to also extra maybe five million or just buy a car at least let it be lessons 
without investment. Now, Nigerian pastors are so tasting of private jet that they don't even care. Like everybody, pastor can just say, uh, God, God said you should give me so-so amount of money. God said, man of God needs one billion. Man of God needs one trillion. Man of God needs, not because they, they, can, they can publicly explain what they want to use this money for. No, they want to buy private jets because all the big pastors have bought their private jets or might even buy more than one. So the one that have not bought their private jets feel left out. Anyway, I'm talking too much. I love you guys. God bless you. I'm not discouraging you not to go to church, but in all my videos, I'm still saying, try and put a smile on somebody's face this December. Cook food, share to the poor, and God will reward you. Don't listen to pastors that, that want to face deportation and pastors that are saying, don't give to the poor. Pastors that are saying, give me, give me, give me, give me. I thought Bible even taught us to love our neighbor like ourselves. If you know you love yourself so much, you cannot stay hunger and by yourself. Why see other people hungry and refuse to feed them if you have? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, you know the kind of pastor that you worship under. Please, I'm not trying to discourage you. If your pastor says don't give to the poor, don't give to the poor. If your pastor says give me, give me, give me, holy me, give them holy. Don't give to the world. No. Even me when they preach, you are supposed to be paying. No, your tithe is enough for me. By watching my video, by sharing, by clicking like, and above all, by commenting, is enough for me. Now, that won't be your tithe. <laughs> I love you guys. If you know you love me, please just commit your thought. And don't forget, there is a whole episode coming about this Nigerian pastors on Sunday. I love you. Until we meet again, peace out. Hello, everyone. The last few days has been nothing but phenomenal. I want to say thank you. Loving the family in our good days, in our bad days, you're just true supporters. And I thank you. Those who brought the music, they brought it out of honor. It wasn't money. It was just honor. From CDQ, thank you. Satan. My dear brother, thank you. You guys are nothing but amazing. Shion Kuti, Yetende Kuti, I'm grateful. They had to shut other things down to run in and out of London. I thank you. Casey, what can I say? It was a complete shutdown. And thank you, Casey, thank you. Um, and of course, family member, Davido, ho ho one. Thank you. I thank you for the honor for the gift of honor it is memorable and i'm glad everybody enjoyed themselves i've already extended my greetings to those who cleaned up those who served food those who did everything everyone in that room was vip to us so we prepared um, an atmosphere for about 600 or so vips however it came to be thousands of vips and I thank you for um, allowing yourselves to honor us. We are grateful. The whole family, the church that I lead, we are all very grateful. The chairman of the day, Obi Kubana and Lush, I thank you. Himoni, Joey Zaza, Chico, <laughs> I thank you. My dear sister-in-law, Toke Makinwa, I thank you. Senator Eniola, let me stop mentioning names. Let me tell you, the people working behind the scene, I'm grateful. Um, Lati, um, Yubi, Yubi Franklin, family member, so so. <laughs> David's men, David Adelike's men are doing great. Um, what can I say about my brother, my friend, my family, Daddy Freeze, and Tisbord? Thank you. George Hill, thank you. Um, and of course, the energy got when it got to the stage, everything shut down at this shop where i'm grateful many names i don't want to keep mentioning names so that i don't get into trouble all of you and those who were supporting us from the distance those who could not come due to one reason or another we understand no explanation needed we've seen your love we love you and i pray that god will keep us together each year gets better there were those who were there last year and couldn't make it this year, but their love has not changed. Our love has not changed. May God keep us together. May God protect us from those who divide us. 
um, and may God continue to prosper you and your family on behalf of myself and my family I just came to say thank you to every single person I wish I can read out names but that would be endless I thank you again and again it was a honor night it was not a money night it was just honor and honor I am grateful if I skipped your name I just want you to know that for time restraint that's the reason I love you I thank you I honor every single person thank you again and again I can say thank you till tomorrow but thank you may God bless you and your family may God bless the family pity Thank you.